Knitters Day is held on the second Friday in January. It's a day set aside to recognize those who set New Year's goals and then failed to achieve them. But it also encourages people to try again and succeed. Did you see the way she I looked did. at me? It was she, subtle. It was a very subtle. <laughs> I am still going strong with mine. Maybe one day I slipped a little bit. Mm -hmm. We got day. it on video. Here's to talk more about <laughs> Quitter's Day and New Year's resolutions is parenting expert and therapist Dr. Cheryl Ziegler. Dr. Ziegler, good morning. Good morning. For how many people are we talking about that typically quit by that second Friday in January? Well, there's a lot of stats, but we're talking about 80%. <gasps> yeah. They last less than two weeks? Yes. Oh, because no. we set these really big goals. Yes, we do. And like, uh, not realistic. They're just, they're not. Like, you can say, I want to, what, you know, fitness and mental health are high up there, right? I want to work out five days a week, right? And so if you've gone from no days a week and you say five days a week, you're setting yourself up to fail. Okay. okay. So you just need to readjust that. I think that's why those numbers look so high because we just go, oh, yeah, well, I want to lose that weight or I want to go in the gym this many times. Well, Work your way to that. I love that word you said, readjust. Let's not quit. Let's no. just maybe scale back or move some things around to make sure we can achieve this goal. That's right. So the second Friday of January is Quitter's Day, and that's what we're here to talk about. Don't quit. Readjust your goals, rewrite them, maybe get a different accountability partner. <laughs> yes. No, actually, Corey's shame works really well on me. Great. If it works, <laughs> then keep your accountability you partner. You are making me sound like a bully. I'm just looking out. She's not a bully. She's like a big sister, though. You know, you know well, how that works. Exactly. Yeah. And if it, whatever works, like, so this is the nice thing. Having one accountability partner is great. Like, you know, I check in with you. I did it. I didn't do it. But then also having a support system. Yeah. So you need, if you live with a family, whatever it is, like, making sure that everything is supporting your goal because if you have this goal but nothing in your life says you can accomplish this that's also a setup for failure mm -hmm. so you don't want to do that as well so it's such a good time to really look at the goal and go okay I can't get in five days a week what about if I just start with one and celebrate even today the day before official quitters day celebrate whatever it is you have accomplished over the last 10 days celebrate it really is important in any kind of goal setting to just celebrate those small mile milestones and also have a growth mindset meaning just all right I didn't do it today but I can do it tomorrow all right I had the seven Oreos but I'm getting back to my healthy eating <laughs> Dr. Ziegler was so nice about it too because I did shame you right before and you were like it was one day and she says but look at all the other days that you yeah. stuck to your discipline goal <laughs> <laughs> what are some helpful science-backed ways to succeed at your goals so one of them is to really say what is it that are the small steps to achieving this goal so that's really important. So what the science says is that when we make those high arching goals, if we don't talk about well, what are the little things? Well, instead of, you know, a donut for breakfast, mm -hmm. what am I going to have instead? You have to plan those things out. Okay, I'm going to have a bowl of oatmeal. Um, and so when you can really break it down, mm -hmm. that is what science says is what makes it. So a lot of people aren't satisfied with that, though. Oh, big deal. So two mornings I did this. Well, actually, the science says it is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Every single day that you make a positive change toward your goal is something that needs to be acknowledged at least acknowledged and celebrated is even better and log it track it down so you can go back and look at it you're a good planner you map out your whole week i'm going to give you a compliment now because we kind of shaded <laughs> you this I whole time did, but i feel bad i'm just i was just looking out for but you, you don't set goals right because I, I mean is it because you think i might not do this or i don't need it or what i think what i that? just put too much pressure on myself mm -hmm. and it would like it would wreck my week if i if i messed up a day so i just don't yes <laughs> which but it is, is probably so hard not what you because you want to wait till like the beginning of something to start it so it's like you blow your diet on the Tuesday. you're like now i gotta wait till next monday <laughs> well, and that's another really good point i just want I want to say that too, that psychology has seen that for a long time where once somebody missteps, they just give up. Yeah. It's like, no, no, that truly is the readjust. Yeah. So if I was meeting with someone, I'd say, oh, okay, so this morning you didn't do that. What are we going to do different tomorrow morning? And that really has to be that mindset. You know what? You needed that stack of Oreos in the you moment. Did, now Jordan. we're going to. You got it out of your system. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We'll delete the video on our we're phone. Gonna, Don't we're worry. Gonna pick, we're going to pick things back up and achieve our goals. All right, Dr. That's Ziegler, right. thank you.